Hello, better no one two in here. Welcome back, and this is another episode of Breath of Fire 3. In the last episode, we began exploring the Desert of Death. And the next directions are to walk west, four left turns from the north, until you find the life armor. This should occur after two and a half nights of walking. Two and a half. So not just two this time, two and a half. And yeah, these directions are told by David K. 519, and this guy deserves a freaking medal. Because this place is freaking ridiculous. So anyways, after talking with my party members, I'm going to go ahead and break camp here. And we are going to continue our journey of death. Alright, so yeah, gotta make sure that's the right North Star we're looking at, and then one, two, three, four. And forward march. No. I shouldn't have some water. One. Two. Three. Four. Just keep the battles in because they'll be short. They'll be really short. Ooh, well, I guess I'm gonna keep this one anyways because we have a new enemy, a Drake. Although he looks like he's paralyzed. Oh, you know what? I think I remember what you have to do with that guy. I think what you're supposed to do is use ice on him. And yeah, he's paralyzed by the heat. Although it's nighttime, so what the hell? Kind of stupid. What I used ice on him, man. It should have. It should have helped him out. Wait a minute. Try using a panacea. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, you use a panacea and then he's back to normal again. But yeah, I don't think any of them are going to survive this. Goodbye. Maybe if you heal his affliction, you get more experience after killing him, maybe? I don't know. Kind of curious as to what you can actually steal, but whatever. Let's keep going. All right, so yeah, I got to make sure I'm facing the right direction here. So one, two, three, four. Always do this. It'll save you a lot of headaches in the long run.
Okay, you can steal a Titan Belt. Whatever. Time for you to die. Okay. We are out. But yeah, again, I think I was facing the right direction from the get-go there, but just to make sure. I got in a fucking... Are you serious, game? Are you serious? You're gonna do this to me? Right now? Why are you gonna get me in a fucking battlefield right as the sun's coming up? Now I might not be able to see the fucking stars. That's rotten timing right there. The game trolled me. Oop, I might as well get this. Even though it doesn't matter. Fuck. Okay, I, I'm thinking that's North Star right there that I'm looking at. Oh man. I think that's the fake one. Shit. Fucking assholes, man. Oh no, actually that might be the real one. I can't even Okay, I think I, I think that's a fake one right there. That's the real one. Two, three, four, okay. I think I'm going the right way here. I hope. Four. Okay, well, before I make camp, I should probably drink some water. Yeesh. Okay, I guess they're gonna say the same stuff, but yeah, I want to check back in here just in case they have different dialogue. So that is the third day here in the desert. Gotta love it, huh? Gotta freaking love it. All right, there's the North Star. One, two, three, four, and we're off. was in the army we weren't actually smart enough to do convoys in the desert at night although I'm guessing maybe that I'm guessing maybe we did them during the day because uh, it'd be a lot easier to combat an ambush during the day than it would be at night but man it sucked fucking hot as shit trucks with no fucking AC 
Check those balls. Guys are complaining over right now, over there, you know, and shit. They're the ones that have trucks with AC. When we convoyed to fucking Baghdad from Kuwait. Yeah, Baghdad all the way to, or freaking Kuwait all the way to Baghdad. It was like a three-day convoy. We were in trucks that didn't even have fucking AC. It was a bitch. Hot as fuck. Also, it was fucked up, too, because we didn't have any cruiser weapons, either. Or any escorts, for that matter. No escorts with cruiser weapons. We didn't have cruiser weapons of our own. Yeah, it was a fucking... It was a goddamn nightmare, man. Then, all of a sudden, media found out about it, and... They were, like, pressuring the government. Hey, how come they don't have up armor on their, on their vehicles? How come they don't have, uh, one... How come they don't have, uh, you know, proper gear and... Yeah, it's like the fucking convoy... Two the fucking convoys we had didn't even have cruiser weapons. All we had was fucking <laughs> our rifles, that's it. Oh man. The hell are these guys? Yeah, some desert stories from my past, my real life past. My time in the bullshit army. Alright, so what? I, I I got I got two, right? I hope it's two. Three. Four, okay. Got a drink. Me? I'm fine. You should be worried. Well, what's his name? The one wearing the f Yeah. I should totally be worried about Ray. Alright, well. Keep in good spirits. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she's got that fucking long frock on. It's got to be hot as fuck in the goddamn desert walking around in that shit. Yeah, maybe it is. I'm sure it is. Anyways, what fucking night is this? Shit, man, I think this is the... Well, regardless, we gotta, we gotta keep heading west anyway, so whatever. Whatever, we're gonna keep heading west. Because that's what we do. Eventually, we're gonna run into the life armor. Which is ultimately what we want. So I'm going to be getting the, uh, or it's, it's either the life armor or the fucking, I actually, no, it's definitely the life armor. We're going to be getting the sword next after that, but yeah, one, two, three, four, and we're off.
Your throat's getting dry. Yeah, whatever. Screw you. One. Come on, man. Okay, I'm gonna make sure. One, two, three, four. Two. Three. Four. Oh, there we go. That's exactly what I want. Alrighty, so here we get the life armor. One of the best armors in the game, if not the best armor in the game for Ryu. As you can see, that defense is amazing. Uh, you regenerate HP in battle, although it's not really that much. I think it's only like 1 HP, but you do uh, regenerate HP while you walk around. While this is better defense, I, and I will be using this armor eventually, right now I'd rather have the magma armor for the fire absorption. Uh, but once later on I get equipment that absorbs fire in different areas, like, um, like a helmet that does that, then I'll use the life armor, but right now uh, I'm just going to keep the magma armor equipped. But yeah, the life armor is really, really good. Alright, so once you get the life armor, i got to refer to my instructions because I can't remember off the top of my head right now. Once you get out of the screen where you get the life armor, you want to immediately after you get the life armor, walk north to finish out the night. Okay, so I'll probably do that and then end the video. So let's go back north. Okay, that's a fake one, and north. North we go. How's everybody doing? How you doing, Peko? <laughs> yeah. All 
Uh-oh, some doubt's starting to creep in. Alrighty. Well, anyways, I'm going to end the episode right here. That's all for this episode of Breath of Fire 3. In the next episode, we're going to continue through the desert of death. We're going to be going for the royal sword, and then we're going to get out of here. And, uh, well, actually, you know what? I'm going to be coming back here, and I'm going to be showing off how to get the speed boots and the, uh, I think it's called the death claw for Peiko. So yeah, I'm going to get through the, the desert initially, but then I'm going to come back later and I'm going to show how to get the other the other items in case you want to get them. Because, well, you might want to get them. The speed boots probably aren't really that worth it, but maybe Pago's Claw is. So there you go. This is Veteran 0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.